are right the chemical properties uh, are properties of a pure substance that can be observed or measured with changing um, chemical identity of the substance so whatever you do with it with the chemically it changes uh, the chemical identity so that substance is not it's not it anymore it changes to something else all right uh, flammability is a type of chemical property uh, you can observe the flammability only when you burn things right for example if you want to know if hydrogen gas is flammable or not you burn it with the oxygen gas okay and uh, we know that hydrogen uh, hydrogen gas is highly flammable uh, oxygen is good oxi uh, oxidizing agent what about water? Is water flammable? No, no, no. Water is not flammable. It's inflammable. So we use water to put out the fire. All right? So flammability can be observed only when you burn things, when you do the reaction. Uh, hydrogen is flammable because you do uh, this reaction, and hydrogen is not hydrogen anymore. Become becomes uh, water. Okay? All right. Now, other type of chemical properties. So we have... Um, uh, reaction with uh, hydrochloric acid. So we have a magnesium dumped into so the solution of hydrochloric acid. Right. So it just replaced. Uh, so magnesium replaced hydrogen to pair up with chlorine. Hydrogen comes out, become hydrogen hydrogen gas. We'll talk about this this reaction later. Okay. So you can see, look at this experiment. So we have uh, dumped the strip magnesium strip into the solution of hydrochloric acid and you see all the bubble right here little bubble those are hydrogen gas okay aluminum can do exactly the same thing now you get aluminum chloride hydrogen gas coming out so these are uh, um, chemical property of magnesium and aluminum however silver does not do reaction with hydrochloric acid okay that's a chemical property of silver uh, what else do we have? We also have precipitation. Now I give you some example. We have hydrochloric acid uh, in a gas phase, uh, ammonia gas. All right. So look at right here. So we have concentrated sulfuric solution, uh, concentrated ammonia solution. They vaporize, and at the top right here, this is not uh, these gases. This they are. This is not. This is the reaction. So hydrochloric acid and ammonia can form ammonium chloride, which is solid. The white gas right here actually is ammonium chloride as a solid form. It's not soluble in gas in the in the air, all right? So, but it's light, so it looks like gas. But no, that's a solid. Okay, that's a precipitation. All right. What else we have? Oh, an acid base property. So we learned in an acid base chapter. So we have um, uh, an indicator to tell you is it acidic or a uh, basic solution. If I um, get a juice from this red cabbage, which if we act as an indicator, drop into hydrochloric acid, the color changes to red. If you drop into a basic solution like sodium hydroxide solution, drop it right there, you get a yellow. Okay, that's an acid base property. You'll learn about this in an acid base chapter. All right, all right, let's do this together on the next video. Okay.